Hello. So this, again, is my Arduino microcontroller. So I have actually bought a new toy for it. This right here is an infrared sensor. So I'm actually going to go ahead and plug this in, and you'll see that this is a servo motor here. So plug, plug it into my computer. That initializes that, puts it to a neutral position. And uh, so that right there, it will pick up an infrared signal. This, this is just a cheapo kind of TV remote control. And so you can actually see if I press a button on this, uh, I can't see that, but hopefully you can. Um, little blinking light right there. So, so that's the infrared signal, which this can pick up. And this is this is interesting. This is a digital sensor, not an analog. So it's actually it, it will ignore all of the infrared uh, light that 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 should be hitting it from from all of the black body, this radiation emitted by all of the warm objects in this room. Uh, but, so it's actually looking for a particular carrier frequency. don't know what that is, but so, so this is blinking with a particular frequency. And uh, when it sees that, it will put a, a, a digital signal out on its signal pin. And so when that happens, um, d d d whatever the, the rider signal is on that, on that carrier will be interpreted by the microcontroller here and something will happen. So, if I press the, the power button on this, you'll see that red LED right there blink. Uh, and then I can, uh, ha ha I have the channel up and down buttons here set, so the servo motor there will, will rotate every time I press one of those, and I can make it rotate back the other way. I've made the rotation a little more dramatic by a binder clipping a gum wrapper to it, so Hopefully that's uh, that's visible. So I, I just thought that was pretty cool. This this is a the remote, the receiver, part of a a, a little a little pretty cheap kit. Also bought from uh, Sparkfront Electronics. So I'll I'll post a link in case you're interested. Yeah, just thought I'd share.